pretty what's up who on here Mose, what's up? Casey, what's up? I read a couple of my inboxes, y'all, and I just had to go live. Lynette, Cleveland, Ohio, what's up? Roy Williams, what's up? Keisha, what's up? Thank you. Well, I appreciate the compliment. Louis, what you say? Showtime. Listen, so I read a couple of inboxes from a few of y'all, and I just want to say this to the females. I hope y'all read the caption for y'all clicked on here so some of y'all won't get y'all feelings hurt. Roy, what you say you can't focus? Well, just click off the video, Roy, because I ain't got time for you. Susie, what's up? So listen, I read a couple of y'all inboxes, a few females, and I just wanted to say this to y'all. Y'all got to stop losing y'all self trying to please a temporary man. Y'all be in these relationships and y'all be dating these dudes and sleeping with these dudes and having kids by these dudes and not understanding that all the stuff that you doing to try to keep this man ain't doing nothing but helping him see his true value. His true value as a man, his true potential to control a woman, his true potential to be able to, to get a female to basically submit to his wishes and his needs and his wants. And then he only temporary. So you done spunt all this time trying to please this man and then he's only temporary in your life and all the stuff that you've done to help him see his worth he don't do nothing but use that to cop other females to go out and get other females attention some of these dudes ain't even trying to get other females attention it's just the stuff that y'all sisters bringing out of these men it's automatically attracting other females and when they come it's attention that they wasn't getting before you and so now they don't know how to act to basically sum this up for y'all, y'all be upgrading dudes. And I don't, when I say upgrade, it ain't like Beyonce. I don't necessarily mean you spending money on him financially or nothing like that. It be mentally, y'all be mentally upgrading dudes and don't know it. And these niggas be temporary in y'all life. And while you spending all your time mentally upgrading this dude, he run off with somebody else or cheat on you and fuck off with other bitches that, that he caught their attention off of the shit that you helped him blossom into. Who understand what I'm trying to say before I even say the next part of what I'm going to say? Angie, what you say, 100? Marcus, what you say, boss lady? You better tell it. Shirley, what you say? Say it, boo. Kenzar, what you say? Eight years? Miss Flystone, what you say? Is that hair? No, this not the hair I just bought. Who on here understand what I'm saying? Louis, what you say? Trust me, karma see all. But you tell it, sister. It's not about karma because at a certain point, you can't just say, oh, karma going to get somebody when you're doing the shit to yourself. You cannot. I'm going to give you all an example, and I use myself as an example. I was in a relationship at one point where I, I had a dude that at this point in time, he didn't have no vehicle. So I let the nigga use my car, drive my car every day, day in and day out, using my car. And I felt like, you know, I'm doing a good thing because I'm helping my man. Like, you know, this helping him with his hustle. It's helping him, you know, be able to do the stuff that he want to do. And, you know, I ain't in need of it because I'm at work. So, you know, he holding my car. Meanwhile, it's running up the miles on my car. It's putting wear and tear on my car. It's doing stuff to the inside of my vehicle. And this is a vehicle that I make payments on. So after a while, the car ended up being upside down, which means that I owe more on the car than what it's worth. So I ended up having a conversation with my father at one point about this particular situation. My daddy told me, he ain't do nothing wrong, you the fool. My own father, my biological father been in my life all my life. For my, And this is somebody that I respect. So when my daddy say something, I, I take it to heart. It, it, it cuts deep. So for my own daddy to tell me, you the idiot, not him, that means something. What that means is you can't blame others for you chasing some shit or doing more than what you should do. Anybody that's in a relationship and you doing more for someone else that's putting your situation underwater, you can't be talking about, oh, karma going to get them or watch what God do. Your ass doing that shit to yourself. You're not a victim. Y'all ladies have to stop. Stop putting all this energy, time, finances, just putting yourself at risk, being vulnerable with your feelings for a temporary ass nigga. It's not going to work out. You're going to end up being scarred and scorned, and this nigga going to move on because all you're doing is helping him see his true value. When you take a man that ain't had a woman that submit to him like you do, or even fuck it, fuck the submit part, that even do all the bullshit that you would do. You running around here stuck on stupid behind a dude. You ain't doing nothing but making him see damn. 
I can get women to act like this. I can get women to do this. And if he ain't committing nothing to you, guess what, honey? You doing that shit for no reason. No reason at all. Denise boys, what you say, daddy is right. Exactly. At some point, you have to stop being a fucking victim and take personal accountability for your role in these situations. But us as women, we done took that whole concept of hold a nigga down and beat up for your man too far because now we just doing it with every nigga we meet. That concept is for husband material. That's for somebody that's in it for the long haul. If you don't believe in marriage, somebody that has committed to you mentally and spiritually and, and financially, and you done tied your lives together, that actually give a fuck about you, that know themselves and actually care about building with you. Y'all be out here giving y'all goods away to these niggas, helping them see their true value, and then they run off with the next bitch. Who understand what I'm saying? Gail, what you say? When you elevate another's mind, you elevate every other area of his life. Exactly. And this is what females are not understanding. When you give another human being the control to be able to make you laugh, cry, feel sad, feel angry. When they control your emotions and just your spiritual being, you've now turned them into a fucking God. And some of these niggas, they not mature enough to have that power over a female. So you bitches out here giving niggas that type of power that don't deserve it and don't need it at that point in their life. This is why they run stupid on you hoes. This is why they out here dogging you out, dogging her out, dogging this bitch out and got this hoe over here waiting on him. Y'all got to stop. Kenya, what you say is pros and cons to upgrading these dudes. What I'm saying is there is no pro to upgrading a temporary motherfucking dude. There's no pro to that. It's only a fucking con. Because what I'm trying to explain is the stuff that y'all be doing to upgrade these dudes mentally be tearing y'all the fuck down. Now, you tell me what, what pro is it to me uplifting somebody while it's tearing me the fuck down. Because y'all be getting used. You use your bodies up having all these kids from these niggas. You end up using your mental state up the fuck up from being uh, crying, laughing. You cry, laughing. He love me. He don't. He with this bitch. Now he back at my house. Now he over here. I'm fighting this woman. Arguing with this bitch. Checking his phone. He doing this. He doing that. By the time that shit over with, this nigga leave the relationship knowing that I can make a bitch just do anything for me. And you leave the relationship knowing not not got no clue where the fuck you supposed to go next, what you supposed to do, don't want to go to work, can't hardly function and be a great parent mentally because you fucked up up here. Who on here understand what I'm saying? Porsche, what you say? I understand what you're saying, but in this society, men are waiting. Men are waiting until later in life to commit, which is fine. So my point is, if that's your philosophy, if you feel like in your demographic, most men are waiting on later in life to commit, if you date one of these dudes that's not later in life, do not sit there and upgrade this nigga mentally to the point where it tears you down. That, are, that is all my point is. Who understand what I'm saying? Stacy, what you say? Preach, sister. Sharona, what you say? Nothing but the truth. Juanita, what you say? Your life will be damaged. And they will move on to the next one. This is what I'm explaining. And it's a, a vast majority of young urban women on the, on the poor side of, of this country's financial spectrum to where y'all be beat the fuck down, scorned, scarred, torn up, not because somebody did something to you, but because you gave all your time and energy and, and, and fucking love and care to a temporary ass nigga. And guess what? When he got done, once you really show him his power and his true potential as a man, this nigga run off with the next bitch and do the same thing to her if she just as stupid as you. Miss Flystone, what you say? If there is no residuals from the investment, that's dead. Exactly. Angie, what you say? They think they itch don't stink and they don't go and they and then they go and be with somebody else. Yes, but it's because we make them feel like that. When you I, I done said this two or three times in the live. When you give away the milk for free, nobody's going to purchase the fucking cow. So a lot of you females is out here. And the reason why I really went live to speak on this, because it make it hard for other females that's not doing this shit. Because y'all have these niggas out here expecting every woman to fuck before they marry them or before they commit every woman to be cooking for them and running behind them, calling their phone, chasing after them, worrying about them, listening to them, being a parent or a step parent to their kids, bearing, bearing ch children for them, doing all this shit without no real commitment, no real maturity from these niggas. And then everybody want to, every female want to sit around and cry and play the victim. Old niggas ain't shit. These niggas is hoes. These niggas is this. It's starting with us and what we allow these motherfuckers to do. 
Tasha, what you say? Yes, I understand exactly what you're saying because you are draining yourself. Exactly. Pouring all your heart into something that is not planning to be there for you. Exactly. Let me tell y'all something. You not doing yourself or the other person any justice if you uplifting them at, at the fucking extent of taking yourself lower and down and further and fucking up your mental capability. If you got to tear yourself down to uplift somebody else, that shit not worth it. And if they allow you to do that, guess what? They ain't for you. Shaquille, what you say? Where are you? Baton Rouge in the building. I know that's right. What you say? You just can't do that for all. You lose and become blind. Exactly. And there is a lot of women that are scarred, scorned, torn up, angry, bothered, always in bad moods, damn near bipolar, got fucking PTSD, all from doing this bullshit. Upgrading a nigga mentally. And tearing they cells down in the fucking process. The shit has to stop. Crystal, what you say? Really though, girl? <laughs> Cynthia, what you say? Yes, Dorsey, say that. Tamara, what you say? Straight up. Avina, what you say? Truth takes too much energy. Leo, what you say? She the truth. You need to be on the radio. I know that's right. Jamar, what you say? The word is reciprocate exactly Gina what you say write a book sweetie because you telling the truth I'm just trying to make sure because I read like two or three inboxes and it's kind of like the same thing y'all get in these relationships with these dudes and y'all sit there and just start giving everything away up front and then somehow in your mind after time passed you done told yourself that the dude doing something to you but y'all be running behind these niggas like they 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 fucking y'all one and only and that's that's gonna save y'all soul and the shit don't make no sense because it be clear for people that's watching y'all from the outside. This nigga ain't paying you no mind or not finna be there long term or in the long run. Women tear their bodies up. Y'all bear all these kids. Y'all chase behind these niggas. Y'all open up y'all households. Y'all drain y'all finances. Y'all do shit like what I did. Let a bitch run your car into the dirt to the point where you can't even come from up under the debt that you in. To where it don't make no fucking sense. And guess what these niggas do? Walk off, run off, drive off, fuck off scuba dive off into the motherfucking sunset and do the same thing with the next bitch until they decide like somebody on here said to mature and settle down who on here understand what i'm saying sandria what you say these men want to build want you to build them up while they give nothing back eric robinson what you say i did not hear did you enjoy your dinner i did christopher what you say judeo-christian belief who won't here understand what I'm saying? They're trying to prove they're valuable to an unworthy man. Exactly. Ivan, what you say? Saying I love you and giving up some head will make some of y'all go against everybody, including your family. And this is my whole point. I read an inbox where somebody said their whole family stopped talking to them because of what they was doing and the dude that they was dating. I read another inbox where a female say she feel like she got more kids than what she can bear and the nigga ain't studying her no more. I read another inbox where a female said that she feel like she just been drained. Like she don't want to go to work. She really don't want to do nothing. Her mood swings change. She feel like she got PTSD or something because she feel like she just got to sit around and smoke all day to try to cope with how angry she be about the shit she done went through. I'm here to tell you, this shit is not worth it. It's not, and y'all doing it to y'all fucking selves because half the time, these dudes ain't asking y'all, hey, chase me around until I commit. Do this, dude. They're not asking y'all to do that. Y'all jumping down and you're doing it too soon, too early, too fast, too much to the point where these niggas realize, damn, I got a bitch doing all of this? As soon as a motherfucker start feeling like that and they ain't had to commit nothing to you, guess what? He gonna show his ass. Because a real man wouldn't have you acting like that without a commitment. A real man would tell you to slow down. You don't have to do all of this without a commitment. Or a real man would tell your ass, baby girl, I ain't really trying to be in a relationship long term so you can stop doing this, this, and this. But y'all just giving everything the fuck away. As women, we gotta stop doing that. Right? Who on here? And understand what I'm saying, Curtis? Ashley, what you say? I totally agree. My ex-husband was a temporary man. I'm thankful it's over and it wasn't worth it at all. It's so many of us going through this. I'm telling you. I talk to an inbox and message back and forth women all day long, daily, that be in situations where it stemmed from a fucking man 
And in all reality, when they tell their story, it ain't that the nigga directly did nothing. The nigga just doing them. And all you doing is helping him see his true potential as a man. This is why some of y'all be in relationships and you can't understand why the nigga won't act right with you. But then he move on and act right with the next female. It's not because she better than you. It's because you was the stepping stool. You was the fucking doormat that he wiped all the dirt off his motherfucking shoes on. And then moved on to the next bitch house where she put him inside. And he became more worthy and became... In the position that he want to be in in his life and respected by somebody who don't know about all the skeletons in the closet and all the fucking mud and shit he had on the bottom of his shoes when he started out. Merle, what you say? They have a load of kids with them and end up with the same name they was born with. Exactly. Sunshine, what you say? Preach. Kenya, what you say? Understood. Christopher, what you say? This is the type of thing that turns a good woman cold and then when she finds a man who is about her, she can't handle it. And this is my point. That was the next step in what I was going to explain to y'all. When you sit around and let these weak ass, whack ass niggas do that shit to y'all, when you get your real king in your life, when you get that husband, when you get that nigga that's going to do what he supposed to do and step up as a man, you can't even act right as a woman for this man because the motherfucker from your past got you so scarred and scorned and torn and fucking PTSD'd up. The shit don't make no sense. Some of y'all got to stop and realize y'all motherfucking worth and stop sitting around uplifting these temporary ass niggas. And y'all know I'm pro black man. I'm pro a good man. I'm pro a working man. I'm pro all that. But what I'm not the fuck pro, I don't give a fuck how much you work, how much a nigga do. If you sitting around letting a woman tear herself down mentally while holding your ass down and uplifting you, you ain't shit. Nikki, what you say? Understand I've been there and done that. I hate it too. Because we don't know our worth until it's too late. Exactly. And see, what y'all don't understand is, while y'all busy doing all of this shit, not knowing your worth, this nigga is slowly realizing his worth. Do you understand when you meet a nigga and you sleep with him, okay, he's conquered that. Then when he got you calling his phone over and over again, checking his social media pages, ride by his spots or his mama house or his house, you that's, that's another level of some bullshit. You making this nigga realize, I can directly control these bitches' minds and their life. Some of y'all wake up every day and, and the decisions y'all make be sitting around a nigga and, and how he gonna make you feel. Y'all wake up and rather you go to work or not depends on if this nigga answered his phone last night. Y'all have kids and shit and, and rather you have a good time with your kids or be happy or perky or cook for them sitting around rather this nigga gonna do this or do that. Y'all giving these temporary ass niggas too much say so, too much fucking matter in y'all lives. Who, who understand what I'm saying? Janice, what you say? When someone, when someone show show you who they are, please believe them. Stop. And this is the thing. A lot of times these dudes don't even know who they are. What I'm saying is y'all be the ones taking them to the process of them finding out what they really can do. Half of the time when y'all meet certain niggas, they be, majority of these niggas really be insecure. Ain't got all these bitches on them like they say they do. Ain't getting pussy and shit like they say they is. Ain't nobody checking for them. And then, lo and behold, yo lonely extra, I ain't had a man in a long time ass, follow behind this nigga till he realized, oh shit, this is swag I needed to be able to go get the bitches that I've been wanting to get. He temporary to you, got another agenda, and you running around making your whole life decisions fucking be based off this goddamn motherfucker. Bro, what you say? This is the problem with the wealth gap in our society. That has a lot to do with it as well. Because like I said, half of us as women can't even fucking think straight financially or parent correctly because we too busy worrying about a motherfucker that ain't worried about us. This is why most of us stuck with children and the father is not around because what? He wasn't studying your ass and he ain't studying the kid's ass neither. And then you got some men that's completely studying their kids. They just wasn't studying your ass. So guess what? You got used for a child and that was that. Or he stepped up and handled his responsibility because he has to. He ain't got to do nothing for you. And these niggas show y'all just what they care about. Stop giving your all to a temporary ass nigga. And that's just a period point blank. Chad, what you say? So what does a good man look like? What I'm explaining is, as women, we be so fucked up off these temporary ass niggas. When we do find a good man that want to be with us, that actually care about us, we treat these niggas bad because we so fucked up from the temporary nigga we chased around for a year or two. This is what I'm explaining. I'm trying to help some of us women see our faults in situations. Like I said, I was in a situation where I let a motherfucker drive the fuck out of my car all day long, day in and day out, drove that bitch more than me until the point where I was upside down in my fucking car. 
And like I said, when I had a conversation with my own father about this, he was like, shit, he ain't do nothing wrong. You the fool. That right there helped me understand a whole fucking lot. A motherfucker will not get me. Not ever, ever a fucking again. If y'all choose to do that, that's on y'all. That's on y'all. It's a lot of people in y'all lives right now that they, you, your friend, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your fuck buddy for a purpose. I done talked to plenty of dudes that done told me, yeah, I used to fuck her just, just to use her car. Or I used to fuck with her mom over there because she used to let me come over there and cook my stuff on her stove. Or I only fucked with her because of this. But if you talk to the female, she think they in a relationship. This nigga only fuck with you just to use your car or come by and stay at your house when he done got into it with his lady or his mama. Y'all don't understand y'all be a fucking doormat, a stepping stool, some shit a nigga step on to get up to the next level. Tanisha, what you say? Yep, that's right. And this is what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I'm talking about, Pastor. Women be broken. Mimi, what you say? Preach, my sister, for real though. Kira, what you say? And that, and that knows their worth, what they really want in a woman. Pallon, what you say? Come on, daddy. Bobby, what you say? I'm telling you. Mia, what you say? We keep, we keep, we keep a man chances that we don't deserve. And then they start to take advantage of, the, of the chances we giving them along with taking advantage of everything. And see what I'm saying is a motherfucker can't take advantage of you if you don't let them. If you woke, if you fully understand where you want to be in life and, and what makes you happy, you won't sit around and chase behind another motherfucker to seek happiness because that's what the majority of y'all doing. You right now calling, chasing, texting, fucking trying to go by and pull up on, trying to go fuck on somebody just to make yourself feel like this is where I supposed to be. This is what makes me happy. When in all reality, you got to be happy with you before you can ever elevate with another human being, male or female. I'm just saying there's so many of us women that's broken, scarred, scorned, told the fuck up, got PTSD and all kind of shit because we chasing behind a temporary ass nigga. Somebody that was not supposed to be in our life long term, but we think they are. Charles, what you say? You right. Who, who on here understand what I'm saying? Only what you say. That's why I don't want nobody living with me. If you can make it on your own. Then oh, well, if you can't make it on your own, then oh well, too bad. I refuse to take. And see, this is what I'm explaining to a lot of y'all. We get with people and we mix our lives with them too fast, and this is why we can't tell that they're temporary. It's so many of us that I've been in situations where you you ain't listening to what your family's saying about the motherfucker not being for you. You can't hear nothing that your friends telling you. You really can't see the shit for yourself because you done already mixed everything in too fast. I guarantee I got over. 80, 90 Facebook friends that are males that are with a female right now that they don't really want to be with but because their finances are mixed or they got a child and they get a child support or they using the bitch car every day and they ain't got no car so of course if I break up with her I ain't gonna have no wheels. I guarantee it's at least 80 of y'all on my right in my inbox right now that I talk to on a regular basis about just life and shit period that y'all with a bitch right now that y'all really don't want to be with and that's the God honest truth. And the female never going to see until this nigga get himself where he want to be, use her enough as a stepping stone to realize his worth, branch off and run off with the next bitch. And what she going to do? Cry and say every nigga ain't shit. Talk all this shit. Act like a victim. Make it seem like somebody did something to her. When in all reality, we be doing the shit to ourselves. And those are facts. Tariq, what you say, I understand. 100%. Just preach it. What's up, Netta? Wesley, what you say? I completely understand that I'm a man. Y'all better tell these females because I be trying to tell people like real shit. I, I just sat there and read like three or four inboxes, long messages of bitches trying to explain. And really, they trying to explain it to me like they're a victim. As women, we have to stop fucking giving all this time, attention, and care to a temporary ass nigga. And it don't be the nigga's fault. Half of these dudes y'all be with, this nigga never said, I, I want you to be my lady. I want you to have my baby. I want you to do this. I want you to open up your house to me. I care about you enough for you to be chasing me around. These niggas ain't telling y'all this. Y'all doing this shit on y'all own. You're not a victim. Who understand what I'm saying? Jamie, what you say? And a lot of women afraid to be alone till they find... Listen, the reason why motherfuckers be afraid to be alone is because they don't know how to be happy with just them. See, when you're not happy with you, you always out seeking shit of the world. Once you realize how to be happy with you and secure with yourself, it don't matter whether you single, married, dating, whatever. You know how to wake up every day and find happiness in your days without another motherfucker having to be the direct result of that. 
Some of y'all can't be happy unless the nigga y'all fucking text you or answer the phone. If he don't answer the phone, you mad for the rest of the whole day. The shit be sad. As women, we have to stop doing this because we too valuable to society. We the backbone to a lot of shit. Half of these niggas that's doing well, they got their game, they've learned, they figured out their worth from fucking with women like us. Kimberly, what you say they don't love themselves? It ain't even about not loving themselves. They just don't fucking know. When you just don't fucking know, you don't know how to do better, which is a main reason why I do these videos because it's so much of the stuff that I be saying that females in my age category, my demographic, just don't fucking know. It's a female right now that just don't know she chasing behind a temporary ass nigga. And he ain't gonna tell her he's temporary. He ain't gonna tell her I got plans to find somebody else that got different character traits than you that's gonna be my wife. These niggas ain't finna tell y'all that. You know why? Because they too busy getting everything up out of y'all. You burying his kids so he can go marry a bitch that ain't never got to have no kids for him because he already got kids and she can keep her body banging. You running around here about to pull your hair out and lose your motherfucking edges trying to keep up with the trends and shit like that and he gonna run off with a bitch that where they natural hair. The shit don't make no sense. Y'all got to learn to start being happy with yourselves. Carla, what you say? This is exactly what I tell my son, that you have to live your live live yourself before you you have to love yourself before you can love anyone else that's so true APAP what you say get mad they ain't even what you say get mad they ain't even they do listen it's it's some females chasing behind somebody else dude right now some of y'all got dudes that ain't even got no other bitch but you and you still chasing behind somebody else dude cause he temporary he gonna be somebody else's husband cause he ain't giving your ass no commitment Stephanie, what you say? I'm alone and happy and putting myself first. I'm ready for the right man. Matthew, what you say? Recently divorced and, and, and enjoying it. Married a temporary female. Exactly. Travis, what you say? Communication is the key. What I'm explaining to you is if I don't know myself, if I'm a man and I don't know myself, I can't communicate that to you. I can't communicate what I really want what I'm really looking for, where I want to be in my life because I don't yet know that. What I'm saying is, as women, we chase behind these dudes and we do all this shit to the point where we done made a nigga see his real potential and he run off and take that potential and hand it over to another female. And then you fucking done lost your mind trying to figure out what's wrong with you. When in all reality, you just put yourself in that situation. You can't see clearly because you ain't happy with you. Everything got to be about another individual for you to feel whole. And that ain't right. Miss Chanel, what you say, you right. But you have to blame that man too because a lot of people can stand the truth and some can't. This is why I'm saying that you can't blame the male. This is why I'm saying to y'all females, we have to stop blaming the men. And this will go back to another video I made. A lot of y'all dating dudes that done been to prison and did long prison sentences. I'll start with that. These dudes get out and y'all start dating them right away. You don't know what this man done been through in prison. You don't know what type of mental stress and strain he done been under. Being in a place where you can't even think for yourself, go when you won't do for yourself. And y'all be taking men like this and y'all get with them and give them everything too soon. Y'all will get with dudes that be in between jobs where they don't even know what career path they supposed to go on. Y'all get with people that be fresh out of college or school and haven't really established themselves. And y'all take these men and y'all lay y'all out on a platter for these niggas without being asked to. This is not nobody coming to you saying, girl, give me your all. Girl, open up your house, your car, your mind, your legs, your heart. Open all this stuff up and give it to me and I'm going to take care of you. These niggas not saying that to y'all. It ain't hardly nobody on here that can say, my man came to me and said, hey, beautiful, I want you to open up everything to me and I'm going to take care of it. These niggas not communicating that to y'all. So you can't blame somebody for giving them something that they didn't ask for. Y'all give it to them and then y'all expect them to take care of it and know the value of it. How? How these niggas don't even be knowing they selves. They be lost and, and, and confused and not raised right. Half of them may have a daddy in their life. And then y'all come around and y'all give them the responsibility of a fucking God. And they don't even know how to be responsible for themselves. You can't blame them. If I meet you and you just open up your wallet and start handing me all your money, huh? He go 100, he go 200 love, he go 1,000, come back tomorrow, I'm going to give you 10,000, come back the next day, I'm going to give you this, come back and I'm going to put some more money in your bank account, dude, and you just, and I ain't asked you for a red fucking cent. How could you ever, if I sit here and take millions of dollars from you, how could you ever go tell somebody, love did something to me? 
Because if you tell the story right and you take personal accountability for your actions, you will say I was a fool because I sat there and gave love all that shit and she never once asked for nothing. This is what y'all doing as females. Y'all meeting these dudes and ain't nobody asking y'all for shit, but probably some pussy. The nigga just asking you for pussy. He asking for pussy through his demeanor, through the way he acting, through when he call you. These niggas call y'all nothing but late night. All he wanted some pussy and you give him your heart, your house, your kids, your mind, your care, your love, your fucking thoughts, your dreams. You giving this nigga everything and what the fuck did he ask you for? What did he ask you for? Half of y'all females on here cannot sit here and say, my man came to me and did not just want to fuck. He asked me for my mind, my mental state ability. He asked me to open up my heart. He asked me to open up my home. He asked me to cook for him and he told me he would take care of me. These niggas ain't telling y'all that. Y'all meeting these niggas and you so fucking desperate to feel acceptance and want to be happy and want to be like a bitch you seen on social media that y'all giving everything away with no commitment. Who fault is that? Who fault is that if you take all the stuff out your house and just give it to a bitch? Then you're going to go tell everybody, she took all my furniture and I ain't got nothing. She took all my food and I ain't got nothing. How? How? You gave it away. The point of this video is to show y'all you're giving everything away, upgrading temporary ass niggas in y'all life. And you got to stop. Y'all got to stop because it's leaving women scorned, scarred, confused, fucking mentally lost. Who understand what I'm saying? Samir, what you say? You dead right. I know that's right. Samantha, what you say? The devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. It is too much deeper than the surface. Must go deeper. And this is what I'm saying. The deeper issue is a lot of y'all don't know self. You're not happy with just being you. This is why when you meet somebody, you befriend their ass, give away everything so fucking fast in hopes that they're going to be there forever, and they not. 80% of the people that pass through your life is fucking temporary. Monique, what you say? Yes, they only going to do what you require them to do. Exactly. Going to take everything you give them if it's being offered. And what I'm saying is, how the fuck can you tell me I'm wrong for accepting something that a motherfucker giving away for free? How can you say that these niggas is wrong when y'all giving it away? If you giving a nigga something, how can you blame him for taking it? That's like telling the people at the food pantry they wrong for coming and taking the food every day when they giving the food away. You giving that shit away. You ain't requiring nothing. You ain't telling a nigga in order to sleep with me, you got to do this, this, and this, and have these type of standards. Y'all ain't telling these niggas in order to drive my car, live in my house, and do this, you got to be able to play a role as a man in my life and be a husband or have goals to marry me. Y'all not saying this. Then y'all be so quick to have these long conversations or inbox me these long messages about how somebody did you wrong. No, you did you wrong, and you owe yourself better. Keezy, what you say? That's why you have to be secure in the whole person first. Exactly. Bree, what you say? They not looking for love. They looking for help. Exactly. It's so many of y'all that done been a stepping stool. I just told y'all I myself have been used and, and stepped on by a nigga, but I never, from talking to my own father, I would never sit back and tell myself ever again that a nigga did it to me. No, bitch, I did it to myself because I'm much smarter and I sat back and let you use me. What you say? Reflection of yourself of how you feel. Caprice, what you say? Facts. Telling the man how they're... How their last man treated you not realizing this is giving them ammo exactly exactly a lot of times we can't even see the blessing of a man that's in front of us or that friend or that good dude that's there for us or that's going to be that that long-term person because we suit too busy being an emotional wreck over a temporary nigga Rhonda, what you say giving up everything for the sake of love it don't even be love it be lust these niggas love to lust over us. They love what they see and what you're doing for them and what you're giving them. Real love is loving somebody th through through just them being them, not through what they're doing for you. And y'all don't understand that. Deshaun, what you say? Hello, somebody. Elijah, what you say? Let the church say amen. Who on here understand what I'm saying? Ladija, what you say? Not to mention we raising young women that will also mimic the action of her. Exactly. I make sure every day I let my girls see me happy no matter what's going on. No matter what because I owe it to them and I owe it to my motherfucking self. Tina, what you say? Yes. Christopher, what you say? Thank you, mom, for teaching me how to treat a real woman with respect. Exactly. And see, not all men were raised that way. And it sometimes it takes them their lifetime for dudes to realize that. And it be so many women getting scarred and scorned in the process and sweating the nigga directly, purposely doing something wrong to them. And that's not the case. Low key, what you say? I'm glad I'm married. And all I ask, 
her for was love, her heart and soul. God bless me. God bless me to bless her for a better future so we can remember. Exactly. Jesus Bryce, what you say? You must have got your man to. No, no. I'm Listen, for y'all that just got on here who don't understand what I'm saying, I get inboxes, thousands of them, no exaggeration, thousands of inboxes on a daily basis of people writing me long messages about their situation. And I read them. And when I see a trend in, in a lot of them, I will stop and make a video about what I'm reading because clearly there's more than one person going through this. So I read a few messages a little while ago from females, basically all of them going through the same thing thinking that dudes done did something to them when really when I'm reading their message that they wrote to me, they giving everything away to these dudes for nothing. Nobody asked them for it and they voluntarily giving it away and then playing a victim. You can't do that. So whoever asked that, that is why I'm making this video. Jessica, what you say, a light bulb has turned on. Thank you. And see, this is why I do it. Whoever just commented that, that's exactly why I do it. I would never make a video when I'm angry or in my feelings about some personal stuff with me. Know why? Because I could give out the wrong advice. I could say something that could steer somebody in the wrong direction. And that's not what my aim is. My aim is to help people do better. To see stuff that the average motherfucker not going to tell you. Marquita, what you say? It passes down. Exactly. Christopher, what you say? I get it completely. I shot you an inbox in seek of some advice i like to take on i like your i like your take on it whenever you have time and i true i do i try to get around to all of them but i get thousands of inboxes janetta what you say what's the definition of temporary and is there a time frame so this is what i mean by temporary when i say temporary i mean that a person is not showing you any signs of long term Meaning y'all be in relationships with people and they're not trying to have any type of real life talks with y'all. Some of y'all dating people and you never even talked about a direction in life. Y'all just fucking and talking every day. You're fucking and texting. You're fucking and sending pictures. You're fucking and eating dinner together. You're fucking and laying up together. You're fucking and just taking the kids on trips and going to Chuck E. Cheese and theme parks and shit like that. All you mainly doing is fucking and then just do, going through your daily life. You're not talking about building and see what y'all got to understand is and every man on here will tell you rather he a player or an old school dude that's willing to settle down when he meet that right woman. Every dude will tell you when they find what they want to keep, when a nigga find what he want to keep, he don't have a problem telling your ass that you ain't got to sit down and have no motherfucking marriage talks with these dudes. You ain't got to keep pressuring them into making a commitment when a dude find what he want. He going to tell your ass and he going to be on your ass about how you dress and who you hang with and where you going and what you doing with yourself. And are you taking care of yourself financially and health wise? The nigga going to tell you, you ain't going to have to tell them. So this is how you can peek if somebody temporary because you're the only one talking about long term. A man, I don't give a fuck if he young or old. When he finds some shit he want, just like these niggas vocalize when they want that pussy, they will tell you when they want you to be permanent in their life. Marquita, what you say? Can I inbox you? It's not just about a man either. Of course. Saya, what you say? It be hard if you love a person. It's always hard when feelings involved. So my point is, the you got to stop and recognize when the feelings come into play. Feelings come into play when y'all start having sex and getting intimate and spending intimate time together. So if you don't want feelings to cloud your fucking judgment so you can be able to tell if a nigga temporary or not, stop passing your pussy out so quick. Stop giving a nigga all your intimate time. Some of y'all don't, don't the nigga that y'all call y'all self dating or that y'all go with, y'all only talk to them when it get dark. And you really think you in a relationship that's going some fucking well. If a bitch go all daylight not studying your ass, that nigga temporary, you temporary to him. When a man care about you or he see qualities in you that he want to keep, that he don't want none of these other niggas to conquer, because y'all got to understand, men are very territorial. They are, as much as they will try to invade the next bitch territory, they don't want nobody fucking with what's theirs. They don't. So as a woman, if you actually stop and think, I can tell if a nigga more than temporary because he going to show me. He's going to show me. Y'all females out here done made it hard because y'all chasing behind these dudes. Dudes that don't want y'all. And it make it hard for females because then when they, when niggas come across females, they got standards. Oh, now we stuck up and we funny acting and we this and we that. They run right back to you easy hoes that give everything a fucking way. A man who found what he want, bitch, you ain't got to talk to him about long term. He going to talk to you about it. 
Charles, what you say, heart, mind, body, and soul. Who understand what I'm saying? Tony, what you say, preach lady, they got to stop being so weak-minded. Exactly. What you say, that's where the side chicks be getting mixed up. Exactly. Janetta, what you say, okay, I got that. Aaron, what you say, I do that, but she's not ready. What's wrong with the picture? I'm talking about long term, but she's looking only in the present. But we have not had sex. So, Aaron, what I'm telling you is when you meet a woman that's not believing what you're saying, a lot of times they're scarred or scorned or have some doubt in the back of their mind about you being genuine. So if you really feel like she the one, you got to keep at it. But you also got to be smart and understand when you've given too much and you need to stop and let that shit go. Sherrod, what you say? I did all of that and she still had a problem. My whole point and what I'm explaining to dudes like Sherrod and Aaron, what I'm trying to explain to y'all is my point in the message behind this video is to help women stop doing this shit for temporary niggas because they be scarred when niggas like y'all come along. When that Sherrod or that Aaron come along that's really ready to settle down, we be so fucked up by Tyrone or Mike Mike or little JoJo from our past that we can't even see what y'all putting in front of us. We can't even see that if a man really sitting down talking to me about long term, he must really mean it. Because it's hard to get niggas to see that. Ro, what you say? There is love and there is law. God loves you but you have law. Law is the key of law law is key for expansion. Jet, what you say? What does I love you enough to let you leave? ML Smith, what you said? I decided that I prefer peace of mind over peace of man. Exactly. Davida, what you say? One thing is for certain, two things for sure. I have come out of a situation no longer willing to be a situation, not even mad. Lesson learned. And this is my point, Davida. It, it comes to a point in your life as women, we have to stop being victims. We have to stop saying that we are a victim of somebody doing something to us that we giving away. We swear we are a victim of these dudes, but they can't take what we don't give them. A person can't mentally fuck you up without you allowing them into your mental. I can't break your heart without you first loving me. Y'all miss the signs. I TV, what you say? My ex been showing up at my house on a drive-by status. <laughs> Adrian, what you say? Girl, I don't care about all that. Where's my plate? <laughs> I know that's right. Peggy Patch, what you say? They don't see it. That's the problem. The point is, the reason why a lot of us do not see it, and all of us have been there at one point in time, is because you've given up whatever... Whatever makes you care about a person, you giving that shit up too fast and that shit clouds your judgment. Rather it be sex, rather it be a bunch of time, rather it be allowing them into your household around your kids. When you give that up too fast, you can't see clearly. See, a lot of times you can see people bullshit when you don't let them around your inner life, when you don't let them in your household and around your children and, and at your house all at nighttime and shit like that. When you give your chance, yourself a chance to get to know them, you will see the signs. But when you already fucking before you know their last name, you ain't going to see a fuck thing but that dick. Nella, what you say? Where my share button? Why can't I invite people? I don't know. You should be able to. Nella, what you, space, what you say? Speak to the woman, sis. Crystal, what you say? I am mine before I am someone else's. Exactly. Principles over feelings. But nowadays, so many of us operating simply off of feeling. Every day we wake up doing stuff chasing a fucking emotion. That emotion that that nigga gave us when he smiled at us or fucked us good or came over and stayed with our kids or whatever it may be. I'm telling y'all as women, you have to start knowing your fucking worth and stop sitting out here helping these temporary ass niggas find their true value so they can run off with the next bitch and give everything that you brought to his attention to someone else. And now you broken and scarred and burned and tore up. Tamara, what you say? Love, Dorsey. It's after 2 a.m. in the morning in the U.K. Listening to my sister Queen preaching. Keep preaching. I appreciate it. Kellis, what you say? Why men acting like women now? So damn. My whole point is we've become the masculine figures. And this is making weak men and men that don't know no better, that weren't raised with, with a solid figure in their life, rather it's a mother or a father, act fucking feminine. This is why. Rhonda, what you say, courtship is a must for me. Exactly. And so many people skip over the courtship. It's straight to the fucking. It's straight to the intimacy. It's straight to the stuff that caused you to have feelings and cloud your fucking judgment. And I'm just telling y'all, for those of y'all women that choose to live like that, that choose to meet somebody and just go ahead and fuck right away, get it over with, see what the dick like and this and that, you can't blame nobody when you feel torn or scarred or heartbroken after that nigga leave your ass alone. 
But Shaka, what you say, know your worth and don't help upgrade that man for the next chick. Exactly. Because I see so many, I got at least, probably at least 50 or 60 inboxes of women talking about how they gave they all to a dude. And the dude basically took everything that she taught him and she upgraded him to. I'm talking about women that done talked about how they helped the dude start a business. The nigga done ran off with the next bitch and basically giving the profits from the business to the new bitch. It's been women that done gave men babies that they done asked for. And these niggas done taking care of their baby and ran off with the next bitch to go be a better parent to their children. The shit just keep going on and on and on and on. And these niggas only doing what y'all allow them. And you be so scarred from these type of dudes when a real man who going to work for your love and care about you and take care of your heart and, and treat you with, with respect and dignity. When these men come in y'all life, all y'all think is, is niggas ain't shit. Oh, dudes ain't shit. And they ain't this and they hoes and they this and they that. But it's them temporary ass niggas you done wasted all your energy on. Some of y'all done chased behind so many temporary ass niggas that you too much of a tired bitch to give any energy to a real man. I will say that one more time. Some of y'all done chased behind so many temporary ass niggas done chased them till you so fucking tired till you ain't got no energy to give to a real man. Barbie, what you say hoes be weak. Bernadette, what you say, sad. Nella, what you say, share this. Yes, share it so somebody could catch the message. Rail, what you say, my message to women. If a man shows you how to survive in life, he truly loves you. In this day and age, it's a lot of overgrown men out here acting like teenagers, always wanting sex all the time. And see, here's my point. You said some real shit, Rail. And, and, and I'm going to end on this so it's fresh on y'all mind. You got to understand when you're being used. And you got to understand when the person that you with don't really know what direction they want to go in. Like I said, some of y'all got dudes right now living in y'all household and he only there because he able to get something out of your ass without doing no real work. Y'all with niggas that can't help you with nothing. Can't help fix your car, can't help pay a bill, can't help raise a child, can't help do nothing. And these are the niggas that y'all chasing behind, giving all y'all time and energy and arguing with other women and fighting and letting y'all kids see y'all cry and be upset and be moody and, and emotions up and down. And you damn near got PTSD, got to smoke a joint every hour to cope with life because you were the nigga that's fucking dragging you. For what? Because you choosing to be. Because y'all ain't married to these niggas. Y'all ain't married. These niggas ain't doing a fuck thing for y'all. They temporary. Colita, what you say? Gotta share this. Lisa Diaz, what you say? Preach. A lot of them, a lot need to hear this. Yes, they do. Donnie, what you say? As a single man, I meet so many, so many women that's been hurt from their past. And that past that they can't move forward exactly and that's exactly what i'm saying that is the point of this video to help some of y'all understand do not sit around and let a temporary nigga fuck you up to the point where you miss your fucking blessing where you miss your husband or your knight in shining armor or that nigga that's gonna, gonna do you right for the rest of your life stop letting these niggas use y'all for y'all cars y'all money y'all mind frame y'all sex y'all body some of these niggas with some of y'all just because y'all look good and to him and his homeboys, you've upgraded him to a better status of street cred or respect among his dudes. This man ain't got no intentions on blossoming or growing or helping you chase your dreams. You just a motherfucker on the side for him to be, say, be, be able to say, yeah, I'm hitting that. That's what a lot of y'all are. And you got to wake up and realize when you with one of them type of niggas. Minister Corey, what you say? Minister Cappy Petty, what you say? Speak the truth, King, Queen. Shamika, what you say, 100? Ida, what you say, yes, this is deep. Spread the word. Listen, I'm trying to help some females help see their value. In no way, shape, or form on this video am I putting down any dudes because every man is not the same. But it's some niggas out here that's temporary. He might be permanent to the next bitch, but he's temporary to you. You're being used. And the only reason you're being used is not because he's doing it to you. You're doing it to yourself. Because at any moment, you can wake up and say, honestly, this relationship is not elevating me at all. If you with somebody that they the only ones benefiting from y'all being together, all you getting is dick. You that's not that's not anything permanent. You being used, boo boo. Ty, what you say? You are my soul sister. I appreciate it. Queen Val, what you say? Women need to stop telling other women, baby daddy, how much to give their own kids. What what I'm trying to explain to y'all is even in situations like that. If you with a dude and you have a child from them and you can't get this nigga, you have his baby and, and y'all trying to co-parent and shit go bad and y'all break up. 
If the nigga won't even take direction from you about how to parent y'all child or what you should and shouldn't do, but he'll listen to the next bitch, you one of these bitches I'm talking about. You got used. He was a temporary nigga to you. You had a baby by him, and it, it shows you how much this nigga value you because he'd rather listen to a bitch that's not even his child mother about parenting his child. Can y'all understand what the fuck I'm saying? This shit is relevant to every fucking thing. Everything. You can damn near give me any kind of scenario and I can show you how the fuck this shit is relevant to that. Temporary niggas we give babies to, we give our households to, we let them ride the fuck out of our cars. Niggas fresh out of prison with no plan, no fucking income coming in, no sign of, of, of how to be a good father because he ain't never had his father. Don't know how to be loyal because he ain't never had nobody show loyalty to him in not the prison system. What the fuck you going to do with that? What are you going to do with that until he knows himself? Until he finds himself and rehabilitates his mind, his body, and his motherfucking soul. What can he do for you and a kid? And y'all get these niggas that don't be whole and y'all take them and try to give them the responsibility of taking care of your heart. How the fuck he going to do that? How? He don't know how to take care of no heart. Nobody ain't never took care of his. A lot of these niggas been raised by grandparents and aunts and and single mothers, they ain't never had no strong man in their life to teach them how to treat a woman and how to be a grown man. And y'all get these niggas and be mad when they don't know how to treat you. How you gonna be mad? How? How? A person can only do what they know. And until they're educated and they grow and mature into to a knowing status, you can't keep saying, oh, he wrong. Oh, he keep hurting me. Oh, you know, bitch, you hurting yourself. After the first time, bitch, you hurting you. You're hurting you. You're not a victim. Carmen, what you say? You right. Elijah, what you say? That's what they like, though. Listen, and what I'm saying is, I just don't want to hear the complaints. If that's what you like and you cool with it, don't complain about it. Stop saying all niggas ain't shit. Them just the niggas you choose to be with. And see, even a good nigga will, will be a hoe to a raggedy bitch. Even a good man, even a strong man, even a mature man, even a older man who has lived life will be a hoe to one of you no good ass bitches, meaning one of you bitches that'll sit around and let a nigga do all this shit. This is why men can get from with you and go be everything that you wanted him to be to somebody else because you accepted him being nothing. That's like if I go to a job and they willing to pay me the same salary where I'd rather I do a lot of work or a little bit of work. If I can go to work and fuck off and not do that much and still make the same pay, why would I go and get my all? If they're going to cut me a motherfucking check every day, rather I do a whole bunch of work, get the job done, or rather I do nothing at fucking all, why would I go in there on time every day doing everything I'm supposed to do? Why would I? Why? I just come in and bullshit. And that's what these niggas doing. Coming into y'all lives and bullshitting. Why? Because you letting them. You ain't demanding nothing out of these niggas. And a grown man, a real man, will respect you for making him stand up and mature and live up to the expectations that you have for him. James, what you say, stop giving them all that power. Exactly. And they ain't asking for it. My whole point is, like I said earlier in this video, half of you bitches on here could not sit here and say that the dude you with asked you to give him all the shit you giving him. These niggas ain't meet y'all and say, I want your mind, your body, and your soul. Give me your heart. Open up your household. Take care of me, and I'm going to take care of you. These niggas ain't telling y'all that. Y'all meeting these niggas, he telling you how good you look, you fuck him, and the dick be good, and from there, you having his baby, you open up your household, you cooking his meals, you running behind him, you buzzing him out of jail, you doing this, you doing that, you putting up with other side bitches, and you worried about what's in his phone, and you running yourself fucking ragged for a temporary ass nigga, because a real man, when he be his queen, baby, he'll step up, you ain't got to tell him, you don't have to tell a grown man what to fucking do, he will get in line. These niggas that got jobs and go to work without a bitch telling them. These niggas that's looking to buy a house without a bitch having to be there to tell them it's time to buy a house. These niggas that pick their kids up and take care of them on a regular basis. Not just weekend daddies or fucking once a month daddies or holiday daddies. These type of men, they gonna do what they supposed to do without a female having to tell them what the fuck to do. And those are facts. Marissa, what you say? Man, I was on my way to the grocery store, but this conversation is so real. I had to pull over in the parking lot and listen to you. Listen, I appreciate it. Make sure you share this live so somebody can catch this real. Cherie, what you say? I was always taught you attract what you are. And if you are attracting people who can't do right by you, then you need to reevaluate yourself. Exactly. 
Eureka, what you say? You're an angel from heaven. Open our third eye. Exactly. And that's exactly what the fuck I'm trying to do. Trying to help some people wake up. Because, listen, as, as urban people, as minorities, we tend to be the victims of all kind of shit on a daily basis when we don't have to. When we don't have to. We so fucking strong. If some of you females just sit down and think, I done overcame a nigga doing this, 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 and this to my whole motherfucking soul. I could have built a fucking Fortune 500 company with all that motherfucking energy. The energy that y'all be having chasing these niggas, you bitches could build a, a fucking company like Apple. The shit don't make no sense. And then y'all cry and be torn and scarred to my what a nigga did to y'all know. Niggas do what you allow them. They do what you let them do. People break your heart when you allow them in. And see, once you get selective about who the fuck you let in your life, in your household and around you, you'll be a better person. Dirty Red, what you said? This is deep. Samantha, what you say? <laughs> this tea is hot tonight. Tasha, what you say? Stay woke. Exactly. Greg, what you say? Words, words are an encouragement to real brothers. Exactly. Katrina, what you say for sure? Turn a street nigga into a house man meeting. He got a legal job now and all about me. Trina, his wife for eight years. This is what I'm trying to tell people. When a man finds a woman that he wants permanently, something that he wants to keep, you ain't got to talk this nigga through acting right. And I'm going to end on this. Those of y'all in relationships, and I've been in relationships like that where I'm coaching a nigga into how to do right or how to make me happy. You with, with a real man, baby girl, you ain't got to do that. You ain't got to coach a real man into what the fuck can do to make you happy. Because he wake up every day worried about what the fuck I got to do to keep my lady. Just like she just said, street niggas will turn and get a motherfucking job. Quit be in church every Sunday when they find that bitch they really want. Oh, bitch, you ain't got to talk these men into doing what they supposed to do. And see, that's what y'all got twisted. Y'all be around here, out here coaching a nigga on how to be a man or be a daddy. And as women, we ain't supposed to tell a man how to be a man. This is why we don't overstep our boundaries. This is why a lot of us don't know how to submit. This is why a lot of us don't know how to let a man be a man because we too busy chasing around fucking boys. We chase around niggas that we got to wake up and tell this nigga how to put his shoes on right. Which way to go. How to answer his phone. Where to go find a job at. How to pay a motherfucking bill. How to take care of his kids. How to fucking deep stroke. When you meet a real man, he gonna figure this shit out on his own. Know why? Because he wants you to look up to him. He want to lead you. He don't want to fucking lose you. But a temporary nigga will sit around and let you coach him into everyday movements a real man ain't finna let you do that some of the stuff that y'all bitches be doing to men you can tell you ain't with a real man because a real man won't accept that he'll get in line you won't have to do that people with husbands that's real grown men they don't gotta tell they fucking men to go to work they ain't gotta tell them oh baby the mortgage do oh the rent do oh the light bill like they ain't got to say that they ain't got to say the holidays coming up the kids need this School finna start, the kids need shoes. Real men don't have to be told this stuff. So if you with a nigga that you have to tell this shit to every day, that nigga ain't ready, boo. That nigga ain't ready. And if you doing everything by yourself anyway, you might as well let that nigga go. And these are facts. I don't care how nobody feel. Victoria, what you say not chasing after no boy? Exactly. Marie, what you say a woman can't raise a man? Society got us thinking that we can Society got a lot of us thinking that it's appropriate to be able to every day try to tell a grown man how to do this and how to do that and where to go and when to come and when to go. That it don't work like that. And see, if that's y'all norm, that's cool. But what you got to understand is a real man, you don't have to tell him none of that shit. None of it. A real man, you ain't got to tell him, babe, this is what make me happy. Or, babe, we need to do this for security. You ain't got to tell him that. That man going to wake up doing what he didn't do to make sure his family's secure. And see, the reason why I know this is I got fathers and uncles and, and brothers that do this shit without a female having to tell them. I got family members that I, I watch every day. And that's what I look for in a man. Some of y'all got to wake up. And if y'all ain't got no examples, I'll be the one to tell y'all what the fuck the example should be. Brittany, what you say? Yes, yeah, speak that. Tanisha, what you say? Love it. Johnny, what you say? I get tired of coming home every morning from work without a real woman in my home. And listen, I'm trying to help you get one, I promise, because I'm trying to help educate some of these females on how to just be a female. Our job is to just be a woman. I wake up every day knowing my job is to look pretty and be a mother to my motherfucking kids. And that requires me to work hard and do me. It ain't my job to wake up and tell another man how to fucking live, how to manage his finances, when to go, when to come, how to stay out of trouble. That's not what I'm here for. I'm here to be love motherfucking Dorothy, Dorsey, to be beautiful, to take care of my children, be a mother, be a lady. 
Not no motherfucking mentor to no men. Tamira, what you say? Love, you saved me fifty dollars on my copay this week. Get my counseling tonight. <laughs> Charles Brown, what you say? Proper preparations prevents poor pre poor performance. Exactly. Charger, what you say? You better believe it, Greg. What you say? What about females who don't appreciate a brother who right? That's what I'm talking about, Greg. I'm talking about females that have let temporary ass niggas scar them to the point where when you find a good man or a good man is right in front of you, you can't see it because you're so fucking scarred. You done spent all your life feeling like in order to have a man, you're supposed to guide his his path and his, his movements and tell him where to go and when to shit and how to take care of a child. And then when you meet a real man that already know how to do that, you don't know what to do you too tired bitch you tired and woe out from being used and chased chasing behind raggedy ass niggas that's exactly what i'm saying jessica what you say a mouthful miss nikki what you say too many women are becoming the provider and had a household listen this is what i'm trying to explain and that's not our job see what you have to do is understand what your role is and be willing to only play your role i had to realize that i'm not playing two motherfucking roles i'm not finna be the fucking puppet master for this nigga and be the female I'm going to be just me. I'm going to play my role. And nigga, if you don't know how to play yours, you got to go. And it's simple as that. As soon as females stop realizing that, y'all will stop trying to raise these niggas. Randy Johnson, what you say, preach. You'll be able to recognize a real man. Somebody that get up and go to work, hustle, whatever they got to do to make a living. Because they know if you don't work, you don't eat. Somebody that take care of their seed without a bitch telling them. Somebody that don't feed into whole shit. There's so many dudes nowadays that a lot of y'all with that... Excuse me, these niggas argue more than females. They bitch more than females. They cry more than females. They whine more than females. We already emotional. Be PMSing and all kind of shit than to be dealing with a nigga that's doing the same thing. These niggas running around checking phones and crying and whining and gossiping and shit like a female. Who wants one of these niggas? I don't see how some of y'all had the time or the energy. How? Johnny, what you say? I can take care of my business, pay my bills. I can do that. I just want to love the right woman. I know that's right. And half, half of the women on here will overlook a man like you chasing behind one of these niggas that they got to tell every day when to brush their teeth, when to take a bath, when to go to work, when to save some money, when to do this, when to go get your kids, when, you, when we got to do this. We should be thinking about this. You got to do this nigga thoughts, actions, everything. The fuck? How can you successfully be you while doing all this shit for another human being? How? How? Some of y'all do more for niggas than y'all do for y'all children. Some of y'all spend more time and energy worrying about a grown fucking man than you do about a small child. And the shit don't make no sense. That's nobody's fault but yours. No one's but yours. All these sob stories about what a nigga doing to us, that shit got to go. It got to go. Kathy, what you say? I'm sharing this. I hope it reached the ears of the ones I know that need to hear it. I hope so too. I hope y'all share this live. Taja, what you say? Who raised you clowns? Vantrisha, what you say? Might as well be a woman. To, what you say? What you talking about? I'm walking that road. What you talking about? I'm walking that road right now. Got a real man and be amazing at what he does. Listen, this is what I'm saying. But some women will never experience that because we too scarred and blinded by these dust bucket ass niggas. These niggas that ain't bought shit. And the sad part about it is these niggas never ask you to put no faith in them. They never ask you to believe in them as much as you always believe. Some of you bitches believe in, in these dudes like more than you believe in a higher power. The shit don't make no sense. Y'all be believing in niggas more than y'all believe in going to work. Y'all believe in these niggas more than y'all believe in y'all fucking children. Y'all believe in these niggas more than y'all believe in y'all selves. And they be temporary ass niggas. And your judgment be clouded as fuck. This why you can't see a real man. Tasha, what you say, baby girl? I'm 43 and you tell... And you telling you spitting some real ish. I'm proud to see a young lady like you. I appreciate it. Teddy, what you say, baby? You telling the truth. I'm a winner. If I don't win, it's not nobody's fault but mine. Exactly. See, we've been conditioned to feel like a victim all the fucking time. When we have the resolution to our problems right within us. And this is the problem with us as a people and everything. Roly, what you say? Yes, you have spoke to my soul. Learned my lesson and I definitely moved the fuck on. Amber, what you say, love? You done woke me up and out of my sleep. Preach. Make it plain, sister. I know that's right, Cherry. What you say? I was in a 10-year relationship with a temporary nigga that I had to coach and beg him to do stuff. I finally took my blindness off and realized how he was doing. This is what I'm saying. And some of us being like, I done been in relationships where the nigga don't even want my advice. I'm passing out advice to a motherfucker that don't even want it. 
I'm giving a nigga game on life and explaining them about business and how to be a better person and how to grow your finance. And a nigga don't even want this shit. A lot of us be in relationships where we doing that shit. And why? You got to stop and think, why am I doing this? Why? This nigga ain't once sat me down and said, let's talk about marriage. Or let's talk about us growing, moving forward. Or let's talk about something long term. And see what I know is a real man, when he find a female that he want to keep for permanent, you ain't got to talk to this man about moving forward. He going to talk to you about it. And those are facts. That what you say, man, listen, I love you. <laughs> I love y'all too, Sandra. What you say? Girl, I love you, girl. I wish I could tell these sisters. Jack, what you say? Tap the screen. I sure will. Stop upgrading temporary ass niggas. And in the meantime, you fucking tearing yourself down, upgrading this nigga. Seeing what you say, I love you, baby. I love y'all too, Travis. What you say? Most black women born scared from birth. And see, my point is we don't have to always be. My point is anybody doing what I'm saying, you don't have to always be that. A lot of the shit I talk about, I once was that. And I realize I don't have to be that no more. There's no rule book saying I got to chase behind another human being over some feelings. You can't take feelings to the bank and cash them bitches. If your kid is hungry, you can't feed them feelings. When the light bill do, you can't put no feelings on that bill and pay it. Your car don't run off feelings. This is real fucking life. Some of y'all got to wake up and see when you start chasing your dreams and your happiness by yourself, that man or that woman will come along when you ain't looking for it. But y'all that wake up every day and y'all happiness is determined by the next motherfucker actions, you already lost. You already lost. I developed a cocky attitude and a swag about myself once I realized this. Because I realized majority of the females that's in my peer category, they think they compete with me. But bitch, you so poor mentally, you can't. You might even be doing better than me financially. But the way this mind frame set up, boo-boo, you doing a lot worse than me. Because ain't nobody finna fuck with my psyche. I ain't running around trying to make people stay in my life. I'm not running around trying to make somebody care about me. I'm not worried, bothered, or moved if a bitch decide tomorrow they don't want to talk to me no more. I respect people telling me that they don't want to be with me. I respect friends telling me they don't want to deal with me no more. I respect business partners telling me they don't want to do business no more. I respect other people's opinions and their right to be able to decide what they want. And see, y'all don't. This is why you chasing behind people so much. This is why y'all keying cars and crying every night and calling phones and riding by people's spots and on somebody IG or they Facebook right now watching because they dating a nigga that you used to date. I'm not finna do none of that. Not none of that. Not none of it. I'm finna go find me something that make me smile, laugh, something that could cut me a check to make me blossom into a better person. And see, once you start doing that, you will be a better person. You will be a brighter spirit to be able to talk and be around. Rosalind, what you say? Hello. Cedric, what you say? Video games, a six-pack, and blunts. That's all. Exactly. exactly. Some of these women, they know, bro. They know. Some of y'all know damn well you not with the person that you finna, that you supposed to be with. You not even with a person that's supposed to be around your kids. You not with somebody that even match your fly mentally, let alone just physically of the flesh. Some of y'all know these niggas don't match y'all, so all they care about is video games, smoking, and, and flossing for other people. And what I'm saying is, it's nothing wrong with that. If you're an individual and that's what you like to do, you just need to find you somebody that match that. But some of y'all supposed to be much more than what y'all are, but you can't reach that level because you too busy stuck in a situation that you choosing to stay in with a motherfucker that's temporary. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? Ava, what you say? I got to post this everywhere. Charles Brown, what you say? A minor setback for a major comeback. See, a lot of us, and, and listen, I'm really going, I don't said I'm going to end about five times. I'm really going to end on this. Some of us be in relationships, and I don't know if y'all seen the video that I made when the dude kicked the refrigerator door on me. I was in a relationship with a dude where this nigga basically had done, I'm going in the refrigerator to, to get something to drink or whatever, and this nigga come, and he basically kicked the motherfucking refrigerator door closed on me to make me understand. I'm in a relationship with a dude, and all he care about is fixing up cars, buying clothes, flossing for niggas in the streets. This this nigga street mentality, right? But I'm with this dude. I got my mind set on bigger and better things. So I'm always nagging him and on him about doing stuff different and, and being a better person and getting all his kids because he got multiple kids, getting them and having them together and spending time with him. I'm on this man ass. Like I'm, I'm doing what you would think somebody would want you to do as they lady. Uh-uh. This nigga told me he kicked the fucking refrigerator door closed and told me, listen, 
I've been wanting to have a car on 28s to bring out on these niggas since I was like 14, 15, 16 years old. And bitch, you ain't finna stop me from doing that. That's been a nigga dream since when they was in middle school. So if you think I'm finna just push my dream aside because you want me to live something else, you crazy. When that nigga told me that, I realized, love, you wrong. I'm the one wrong. He ain't wrong. A person is not wrong for wanting what they want out of their life. We ain't God. As females, we got to realize that we are not God. If this nigga want to drop them eights on that motherfucking car and step out on these niggas during MLK or whatever and shine, he has the right to do that. Like he said, that's been his motherfucking goal, dream, prize thing to do since he was in middle school. Who am I to come and tell this nigga he should throw that dream away? Who am I? I had to get the fuck away from him and find me somebody that matched my fly. And some of y'all right now in situations where this nigga goal or dreams is nothing like what you trying to get him to do. Some of y'all with niggas who just like the nigga I was with, their goal is to floss on niggas and drop 28s on their car and have four or five bitches and show the niggas in the hood that they got all these hoes. These, these nigga dreams. And y'all think y'all can change that? Ha! Huh? Ha! Huh? Tasha, what you say? That's crazy. I was just thinking all this and you popped up with this video, LOL, that was a sign. Latoya, what you say, fucked up mindset. What I'm saying is, it ain't my place to tell the next motherfucker what they should want out of life. Y'all got to understand that. And see, that comes with maturity. For you to understand, I don't get to tell, it's a thousand people on here. It's not my place to tell now one of y'all what y'all should want out of life, what should be y'all goals, y'all dreams, y'all aspirations. It's not my place to do that. So once I realize that your goals, your dreams, the direction you want to go don't match mine, I have a responsibility to get the fuck away from you for the sake of my happiness and my mental state of being. And that's just that simple. Some of y'all trying to force people to swallow a pill that they don't want to swallow, that they never planned on swallowing, and they never planned on going down that path. Y'all got to understand that. Sam, do you what you say exactly? Denise, what you say? Women support men like that. I think it's low self-esteem. Listen, it's not low self-esteem. It's a lack of knowing self. Because I've never had an issue with speaking up or insecurity or anything like that. But just like a lot of other women, I felt like that's what I was supposed to be doing. I wasn't mature enough yet. This is why I spent a few years in a relationship with a dude trying to coach this man through life. When in all reality, it took for this nigga to kick the refrigerator door on me to tell me, listen, bitch, you're not finna get me to throw away a dream out on the ass since I was 14? Are you crazy? Bitch, we 22, 23, 24, 25, and I'm just not getting the money to be able to do this shit I've been wanting to do since I was 14? Ho, bye. Like, this nigga had to say it to me like this for me to realize, you know what? He dead right. He dead right. I had to shut the fuck up. This nigga kicked the motherfucking refrigerator door on me. Some of y'all need that. I don't have a situation like that happen in my life for me to realize it's not my place to be raising a nigga, coaching a nigga, talking a nigga through their finance. It's not my place. It's my job to be loved, Dorsey, and that's the fuck it. That's it. Once y'all realize that, y'all will stop chasing behind temporary niggas. Period. Point blank. Somebody share this video. Tag somebody. Um add it to a chat group or whatever y'all want to do but somebody needs to hear the message because i've got a lot of inboxes that pertain to this same shit i appreciate y'all